Would you like to make this kind of logo or reveal animation in Blender? Even a beginner can make this with their eyes closed. First we need a logo so we are going to use, oh not this one, we are going to use this logo for this tutorial. If you want this, link is in the description. So the process is really simple. The colored logo PNG file will be converted into SVG because that way we can import this SVG file into Blender and make it into a 3D object. We are going to first head to this side and then drag in our logo right here. Right now our logo has nothing changed on it. What we have to do is change this value to 100% and it will turn our logo into totally black and then you can click save as and download the reason we are doing that is because if we are going to convert it into a svg we need that logo to be totally black or totally white only that way it's gonna work perfectly in blender so after converting it into black we can drag and drop that file and then convert it the link for all these sites are in the description now after we are done let's head back to blender and select everything press x and delete for things to be easy understandable you can see whatever key i am pressing on the left bottom corner now to import it head to the files in the import section you can see scalable vector graphics and then select your logo file and import it and you can see your logo is here hooray the first problem that we have to fix is these are separate objects so let's just select all of them press ctrl j to join them now we have to reset them to the world origin so right click first of all set origin to its geometry so that we can do whatever you want with its origin to move it to the world origin press shift s and selection to cursor now you can go to the side view from here and rotate it by 90 degree and enter just move it up a little bit the first most irritating thing that is you are not subscribing okay the actual thing is this black material i will go to the materials and here we have this black material and i will get rid of it don't think of me as racist not to make it as thick as someone's thigh you have to go to this data tab and here you get the geometry section where you can extrude your mesh and i'm gonna extrude it like 0 0.005 and that should be perfect for my logo and you can see some weirdness going on it so to fix that first we have to right click and convert it into a mesh right now it's just a curve right click and convert to mesh now if we right click again and shade it flat congratulations you have made your logo in blender now step two making the effect to make the effect we need a controller um no if you don't like my joke you can take it up to my manager Okay, for the controller, I'm going to use this empty and here the plane axis. With this, I can just move and control the animation. Now, selecting our logo, what we are going to do is change to another tab which is geometry nodes at the top here. And we are into geometry nodes section. Let's zoom into our logo again. Now, the first thing that you have to do is click on this new button and it will create a new geometry node for your logo. This is the input which contains our logo and it is giving us output in the viewport. Our goal is to bring those lines on our logo. So to bring the lines, first we need a distribute points on faces. With this, we can get some points on our logo. But we have lost our original logo as well. To get that back, we can use join geometry node and then we can just connect back our original logo right now the points are way bigger than our logo it is not the points that are bigger it is a logo that is smaller so what i'm going to do is press the s key to scale it up and make sure you are focusing on the dimension on the right side by the way if you are not seeing this dimension right here what you can do is press the n key to bring it up it should reach around four meter on the x-axis this should be good enough now our work is not done because we have to press ctrl a and apply the skill then only we can see the points have a perfect size on our logo now also let's move our logo up a little bit now our points should appear something like this on our mesh and then later they can be replaced with lines and they will look something like this to achieve that we are going to use this controller but before this let's select our logo again and click on this pin icon right here so that it doesn't run away just like how we run away after watching my channel not subscribing so to get that working what we can do is simply go to the outliner right here 
drag this empty into the geo 90 node site here and drop it also make sure you set it to relative so whatever transformation it has it will be carried over inside geo node so using this location of our empty what we can do is drag this out and search for a distance node and click on the distance node now what this is gonna do is if we just plug in the position node of our geometry and then join it it will give us the distance between the empty and each single point on our mesh now blender is really your best friend it will show you whatever data you are using so to visualize it we can just press ctrl shift left click on the logo and then we can just ctrl shift left click on this distance now you can see there is some kind of gradient appearing on our logo that is due to that distance now we can utilize the same and connect this to distribute points on faces so change this to poison disk and we can connect this to the density factor right here now to see the result we can click on this icon and we only see the result so right now only the white part has all the points and the black part has none to invert our result we can use a color ramp plug it into density factor and just flip the result like that let's remove our empty and you can see points only near it again visualize our result and you see this we have two things to fix first this is looking really jagger to fix that you can press first click on this eye icon go into edit mode select everything right click subdivide it at two times and that should be good enough and now if we see again our gradient is better than before now let's just move our color ramp a little bit to somewhere like this now what we actually want is our white gradient should be like this but it should only be at the edges this inner part should be all the way black so that only the points appear at this part we can do that by adding another point here and just move it all the way to the left and change this to all the way black and then you can see that kind of result just change around with it to get the desired result and we can get this get rid of this viewer node for now so the points that are summoned on our geometry are very very less so let's just crank it up to around 100 and that should be good enough for us so why not use a seam gradient to make our logo disappear so this is the pipeline for our logo so we are going to just store the data here this distance data right into this and i will name this as gradient this is the only way we can use it inside the shader now before we use it inside the shader we have to set a material for it as well so use a set material node and i will create a new material for our logo so go to the materials tab right here and click on the new and i will name this as logo make sure to apply the same here as well now let's head to the shader editor let's go to top left corner right here and here you get this option of the drop down and you can click and then change this to a shader editor right here to use that gradient inside here let's summon an attribute node hover over this gradient press ctrl c and then go here and press ctrl v and we get the same text now to see everything properly here we have to switch to the material preview right here if we connect this factor to the surface we see our gradient working here but it is good not good enough so we can use a color ramp again to sharpen our gradient like this to make it a transparent we are using a transparent pstf and to utilize both of them together we use a mix shader node so this will go to the socket one and principal psdf will go to socket two and this can go out to the surface now with this color ram that we created we can connect the color to the factor right here and you can see our result is something like this so as you can see the white part is the transparency and the black part is the principal psdf which is the white in color now to switch around you can just flip it like that and that is working for us and if you move our empty everything is following just perfectly but we have an issue it is not revealing our logo totally we can fix that let's head back to the geo nodes and just after the distance node we are going to increase its power using a math node like that connect this to the bottom of them properly so for this to work you have to take it to the negative value if we go into the minus our logo will start revealing more and more so it should be totally revealed when our empty is at the center of the logo right so something like that i'll set it to minus two and that should be good enough and this is the kind of result that we are getting from it now to replace these points with those lines we can use a simple node which is instance on points after distribute points on faces and 
everything has disappeared because Blender is kindly asking us to input an instance here. For the instance, we can search for curve line and then plug in the curve line inside the instance and we have curve lines. So the problem here is that they are facing the wrong direction. The simple reasoning is that we forgot to apply the rotation on our logo. So press Ctrl A and apply the rotation and that is fixed. The second problem is they are not rotating in the angle of the logo. So we get the option to rotate it as well inside this instance on point. So just rotate it on the Y and I think 15 degree should be good enough. Also I'm going to change the height of our lines to 2 meter. That should be good enough for now. You can always increase and decrease the power of the gradient with this math node as you can see. To animate you can just use the empty right here. Now these lines are just lines. We are them to look like a mesh. For that we can use a simple node which is curve, curve to mesh. And then it is asking us a profile curve. For that we can use a curve circle. Before connecting it to the profile curve, let's just reduce down the resolution to around 5 and I'll set the radius to very very low which is 0 0.005 that should be enough and we can connect it to the profile curve and now they have thickness let's also give them a really good material so using a set material again heading back to the materials tab creating on this plus icon and click on new and name this line and select the same here line we can get it those principal psdf and add a emission shader and connect this emission to the surface i'm going to change it to something like a red set the strength to around seven but we want to make it even look better as you saw the lines were not just spawning they were also trimming down at the same time let's make some space right here we'll use a node which is called trim curve and with the start point you can see we can trim it but that is actually the wrong direction so we got to reverse our curve if we reverse it we can trim it now properly the data that we created the distance data we can use the same data to drive the trim animation so we can just connect this right into here and then we don't see any kind of result. If we move our controller, you can see they are trimming together. They are not trimming individually. To make them trim individually, we just need a simple node which is called Realize Instances. And now they will trim individually like this. But that is not happening for this side, right? We can fine tune that using a color ramp right here. We can connect this into the factor and then we can connect color to our start. And the way to fine tune is to bring this black part in between and add another white part on the left corner and make it all the way white. We are getting something, but as you can see, it is happening on the left side better than on the right side. So we can increase the power again, duplicating this math node. If we use this, we can increase the power of trimming. Let's just take it even further, like to minus one. And now we can see that happening. The next part is our logo should be glowing at the edge. To fix that, we again head back to the material section by selecting our logo and select our logo. Now for this, find this emission section. And here we are going to plug in the attribute that we created, which is this gradient. And then we connect it to the color right here. And just using a simple color ramp. So whatever color you want at the edge, you have to replace this white one with that. So I'm gonna make it something like a red color. Well, nothing is already happening because the strength of our emission is very low. So set it to seven for now and we can see it glowing. So just adjust with this color ramp to make it only appear at the edge as I am doing right now. Also fine tune this transparency as well. So we can have something like this and it looks good. Next step where we are going to create duplicate lines but they are actually hollow. They kind of help us give a glitchy look. So to start with, let's head back to Geo Nodes. And here, what we have to just do is duplicate these selected nodes. Now to connect them back, we can just connect this set material to the joint geometry and then connect this realize instance to the stream. Also don't forget to connect that add value, which is the distance data, to this add value. And now we have those duplicate lines. The first thing that we want is as they are hollow, we want to make them a bit more thicker. So we can go to the radius and I'm going to change this to 
one. Also, they are not going to utilize the same material, so we can click on this cross icon and we can head to materials and create a new one. I can name this one as line 01 and assign the same here. Now make sure that material is selected and head to the shader editor right here and we are going to get rid of this principal PSTF. The only we want is the emission which will be at the edges of it and the transparent which will be in between. One important thing I forgot to do is fill caps. Don't worry if it looks all black, that is fine. Now to combine this, there is a really nice shortcut which is pressing Ctrl Shift right click drag from transparent to emission and it gives us mix shader. And you can connect it to the surface. Make it hollow, what we can do is use a really powerful node which is layer weight and if we connect the facing to this factor right here, we might be able to get that kind of result. The first thing that we need to do is change the color of this emission to the red one and also set the strength to 7. Now to fine tune it, you can decrease the amount of blend and you can see we have something hollow. To sharpen it, you can again use a color ramp in between and that way you can sharpen your result. But now the issue is they are at the same position as the normal lines. We want these hollow lines to move up. So to move them up, we have this add node which will help them move up. So let's just decrease the negative value something like this. And now they are a little above the normal line. And now if you move this empty, you will see something glitchy happening. Now we are at the final step where we are going to make it look even better. So first of all, let's add a plane, let's add some lights to our scene and we can have an actual look at our logo. For this one, I'm going to use Cycles Render Engine. So go to this tab right here in the render, get, choose the Cycles and make sure it's set to GPU Compute. Now to switch to the render view, we can go here and click on this and we are in the render view. Now we don't need the geometry nodes anymore, so I can just go here, right click and close this area. Let's just move it down. The first thing we want is to make it better. We switch this one to a compositor and where we get the option to select use node. So check this button and then only you will be able to see these nodes. Now to see them in the real time here as well, you have to go right here, click on this drop down. In this compositor, make sure it's set to always. The simplest thing we are going to do is add a clear node inside this and drag and drop it in between and now we have way better result than before. The one that I'm going to use is change this one to simple star, reduce the fade to all the way 0.7 and also change this to high and it is looking way better than before. Now the final thing to have the original material on your logo. For that we will head back to the shader editor and here we get to select in the materials tab the logo that we have created. Now in the principal BSD we can plug in the texture of our original logo. So we can import that using our image texture and then we can select the image file. So let's just connect this to the base color and you won't see anything happening because we haven't done the UV unwrapping of our logo properly. But before that we will select this and press Ctrl T so that it uses the texture coordinate of our UV data. Now to unwrap it properly we'll go to the front view by clicking this icon right here and in the front view I'll press tab select everything unwrap and click on project from view. Now something has appeared but it is not at the right position to fit it at the right position we have to switch this one to a uv editor right now we have nothing here but if we again go into the edit mode select all the mesh you have everything here we have to just position it correctly and now we have our original texture inside here as well just for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to add a light in front as well so it kind of look better now as you might see there are some issues with our texture these jagged line that looks really weird so let's head back to the shader editor and here if you change around with the settings you can change this to channel packed and you won't have those jagged line anymore before we end this tutorial the plan file for this logo animation as well as the whole scene that i've created is available on my patreon the link is in the description that if you join my patreon that will really help me and my channel and in the future you can expect more amazing videos so make sure to subscribe and hit that like button if you like this video and get notified with that bell icon so i will see you in the next one